Hey everyone, so I'm currently heading over to the fish store right now. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go to PetSmart and Petland and maybe even a local fish shop in my area. I've got a few ideas of what I'm gonna do with my tank. And so I figured that I would tell you what those are as I drive to the fish store. So the first thing that I'm thinking of doing is just checking out how much aquarium sand is. I do believe it is quite costly and I don't want to spend like $100. I have no idea how much it is, but I would need about two 20 pound bags. Now that I have like um, live plants, and then another thing that I am looking into as well is either getting a small nano tank for my betta and then getting a tank with maybe some non-betta compatible fish in it or um, and this is the one that I'm leaning to the most is just getting um, something like neon tetra something that is compatible with a betta and just kind of throwing my hat in the ring seeing if it works and if it doesn't then I can get a nano tank then but I figured why not try to see if it works first before I go through the effort of buying a tank right now I am just arriving at PetSmart um, but I'm actually gonna go to a Dollar Tree which is literally right next to it and I'm gonna see if they have any gel clings for my tank because I want to make it um, want to make it look nice and festive so yeah I'm gonna go into Dollarama I'll take you guys with me I will see what I can find as far as like gel clings go or window clings I prefer the gel clings because they're easier to remove and put on um, and then I'm gonna go to PetSmart which is just a little bit more that way so uh, once I look at that and I see what everything costs then I will make a decision on what I want to do. Um, I want to be home in about an hour. Um, it's 5.30 and I want to be home by 6.30. So that's that. But yeah, I'm going to get out of the car now. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, so I'll take you guys. As you can see, they already have their Christmas stuff out as most stores have to be one holiday ahead. Um, so they only really had this small fall section left, um, but I was able to find these window clings here. And even though I was looking more for gel clings, these ones will work perfectly fine um, and they will still be opaque on my tank. And I thought that they looked pretty cute. But while I am also here, I decided that I would look for the Halloween ones as well. In Canada, Thanksgiving is in October as well as Halloween, so I pretty much have to buy them at the same time if I don't want the Halloween stuff to all be gone. So I just kind of skimmed the aisles and tried to find what they had left. Um, as you can see, they're already starting to thin out. I did take a look at these little spider skeletons because at first I thought they might look kind of cool if I put them around my tank, um, but I ultimately decided that less would probably be more and I decided to pass on them. In the first aisle, I wasn't really able to find what I was looking for. It was mostly like candy, party favors, and little craft supplies like that. Um, and so I moved on into the next aisle, which is usually an overflow of seasonal. Um, as you can see, they have some Christmas stuff out here and a lot of costume merchandise. After looking down this aisle, I was lucky enough to find the window clings that I was looking for. Um, so I was really happy about that. They still had a lot of options. I did think that these ones were cute, but ultimately I decided to go with a little um, pumpkin ones that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, I thought the bloody handprints were cool, but I thought maybe it'd be a little too creepy on the front of my tank. Um, so I decided to pass on those. And they also had a little bit of ornaments here. And I also picked up a little sign that said spooky. And I thought I'd put that on the side of my tank. Um, so this is the pumpkin ones that I decided to get, and this is the sign that I picked up. And with that, we are ready to head out of the Dollar Tree. So the three things that I picked here were about $1.25 each. So this store was a success, and I was able to get everything that I was looking for. So, so far, so good. If I don't get all this in before my phone dies, I'm going to be sad. I need a new phone. It dies in like 20 minutes. Um, but anyway, I just went to the Dollar Tree, as you guys saw. Um, so the Dollar Tree is literally right there and then pet smart um that's where i'm gonna drive um i don't feel like walking all that way in case i buy something that's heavy 
So we're just gonna pretend that this clip of me walking into PetSmart is not from my pet store walkthrough. And so when I walk into PetSmart, I immediately go and head over to the nano tanks. Um, I started off looking at the prices and seeing whether or not I wanted to do the tank first option or the tank only if I needed an option. So I kind of looked at all the prices, saw what everything was. Um, the tank specifically that I was looking for was around two and a half gallons and I was able to find one here for around $33. Because it's not a ridiculously cheap price, I'm definitely going to use that as a last resort. Then as mentioned earlier, I went and looked at the aquarium sand. I was able to find two bags, um, kind of a white sand and a yellow sand. As I mentioned in the beginning, I would need two bags, but when I looked at the price, they were quite expensive. They were actually 40 bucks a bag, and I just wasn't emotionally ready to spend $80 in sand today. I also looked at the moss balls because I was kind of thinking of adding one to my tank, but with 10 bucks a piece for a literal ball of moss, that was a firm no. After looking at the moss balls, I did find another bag of sand, but this is like specifically for marine tanks and planted tanks. And I just want basic sand. Um, and the bag is a little on the smaller side too. So I decided to not pick up any sand from here. Okay, so PetSmart was a bust. Um, basically, for a bag of sand, one bag of sand, it is around $40, and I would need two. So it would be about $80 for me to switch the rocks out in my aquarium. So I'm gonna go check out Petland to see if they have anything remotely better, um, but I highly doubt it. But I also did take a look at these small, like two and a half gallon aquarium. They did have it like with a divider in it. I would not divide it, personally, of course. Um, but it was a reasonable price, so that's kind of good just for knowledge purposes. But yeah, so that's uh, how the sand is going. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out Pet Land, and then I'll go check out to get an Indian almond leaf and some fish. So that's what I'm gonna do. Turning the car on would be advantageous when you're going to go driving. What time is it? Ah, okay, okay. Time is running out. What is the likelihood of me finding anything at Pet Land? Should I, should I bother? Like, Petland is expensive, but then also they have cardinal tetras. Oh, and they might have almond leaves, and it's closer. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Petland because time. I think I have to go with my friends tonight, and I'm pretty sure that they would be mad at me if I blew them off to buy a leaf. So should I, you know what? I'm gonna go in here. I'm taking the back road. The sun is awful. I can't see. Oh, that's a curb. Okay, you know, uh, I can pop out of here. Okay. Whee! Okay, I keep thinking I'm going to Walmart. I might have said Walmart, too. Pet, uh, pet land is right next to Walmart. But I do not get my fish stuff from Walmart. Ooh, I wonder if they have sand, though. Okay. I'm going to go to Walmart, because I just thought of this now. They have some fish stuff. I don't know how much, but it might... Like, buying four bags of Walmart sand might actually equal expensive stuff. So, I'm gonna do that. There's Walmart where I'm gonna be going. Petland's over there. That's where I'm gonna be hitting up. Read 10% on my phone. Wish me luck. When I got into Walmart, I headed straight into the pets area. It actually took me a little bit to find the aquarium supplies because they had actually moved stuff around, but I was able to find them pretty quickly. Our Walmart does not sell live fish and they actually haven't in many, many years. Um, they only sell like tanks and, you know, filter media accessories and stuff like that. Um, but looking at the substrate, they did not have any sand. This is all they had. They did not have very much. Um, so I quickly realized I wouldn't be buying sand here. Um, but I just thought I'd show you quickly. If you've been watching me for a really long time or prefer my older videos, these were actually the two tanks that I have used in the past the five gallon and the three gallon there. So I just thought I'd point that out since this is where I got them. But once again, I am leaving another store empty handed and continuing my quest for fish, leaves, and sand. <laughs> As you can see by the bags of gravel, that was pretty much all I found. Um, so yeah, off to Petland. Petland's aquatic section is in a cool little alcove in the back of the store. And like PetSmart, all of their substrate was along the wall, just underneath the fish tanks. Um, so I just went around and looked at the selection and I quickly came across this bag of yellow sand and I was actually impressed to see that this was about 22 pounds and it was only 30 dollars. 
While I was impressed to find a cheaper bag of sand at a store that was notorious for having expensive prices, I wasn't ready to commit just yet, especially when they only had one bag and I knew I'd have to come back. So I decided to go and look at the fish, which is another thing that I was looking for today. This live planted tank actually had a male betta swimming in the back of it, so that was kind of cool. I don't think you could see it on camera though. Um, but what I'm looking for the fish here is I want to see kind of what the prices are, whether or not they're healthy, and also see if by looking at them, if I definitely want to put them in my tank. I know that I said I was picking up neon tetras today about 500 times in this video, but every time I said that, I actually meant cardinal tetras. I prefer cardinals because they're a little bit um, more resistant and some could even say immune to neon tetra disease. So I always like to get a cardinal tetra and they're also a little bit bigger, so they add a little more color to your tank than a neon. And after looking at the tank for about a whole three seconds, I decided that I was going to pick them up today. Cardinal tetras are a little bit more expensive than neons. Um, they're about four bucks a fish. And yeah, I ultimately made the decision that I was going to pick them up. While I was waiting for an employee to scoop out the fish and write everything up, I ultimately decided that I was going to pick up the bag of sand as well. And I decided I'd just come back in a week's time to buy another bag. So these are the six little cardinal tetras that I picked up today. Um, they're pretty stressed out, so their color is kind of dull, and there's one that literally looks dead. I promise you, it is just really stressed out. Um, it is not dead. They're all still alive about a week later. It's just coping with its stress by not moving at all. But like usual, whenever I take fish home, I just buckle them up in the passenger seat with me, and I take them along for the ride. So here I am just buckling them in, kind of tightening it up and making sure that they won't go flying. Hi, my blood sugar's low and I'm in a rush now, but as you can see, I managed to find some sand here for a cheaper price. And then I decided to get some Cardinal Tetras. I got six Cardinal Tetras. I usually get Cardinal instead of Neons because I remembered about the whole Neon Tetra disease thing. That always scares me. And yeah, so I managed to get a bag, 22 pound bag of sand for 25, which is much better than the 40 at PetSmart. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to get these fish in the tank and then um, one day I'll do the sand situation. I'm not going to do that right away. Um, I'm dying, so I'll do a better outro later. <laughs> so I had the fish acclimating for, I want to say, 45 minutes or so and they've got all their color back and now I'm gonna release them in the tank. And I figured I took you on the whole process of purchasing them. So I figured I'd film the releasing them as well. So I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Um, I've done a couple walkthroughs and I've done one video where I was talking, kind of driving in my car, but I've never done a full shop with me type thing before. So let me know if you like it. I'll leave a poll in the eye cards. You guys can let me know whether or not you like it. But like always, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload. That is all for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.